Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 15 of Direwolf20's server play series. I see a wild zorn. Hello. How are you, sir? Good. I have a lot of things to do today. Oh? Yeah, like I need to make stuff and do things and then I gotta get stuff and do some other stuff with it. Does any of that stuff involve getting rid of this nether star block stuff? Uh, it, it, I mean it could. It's up to you. Awesome. I mean, I hadn't any particular plans to get rid of it, but I mean, I'm, I suppose anything's possible. Anything's possible? Okay, cool. Yes. I actually have some interesting plans for today that I think will lead to a very fun build. Last episode, Soren, I had a lot of fun automating Batania with just Batania. Mm-hmm. And I want to do the same thing this episode. Mm. Yeah, doesn't that sound cool? A bit. I thought so. You know what's funny with your new microphone? You sound more like your brother. Oh dear. Yeah, no, it's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, the mixer, I've equalized it out so you don't hear the uh, fan noises. I can turn that off to show you. No, it's okay. You hear that wonderful sound in the background. What just happened to you? <laughs> I turned off the uh, equalizer so we actually don't hear the fan noises. Gotcha. All right. That Let sound. Me... Ah. Why am I getting Fine. such lag? Right. You can do this one. I can't find like this. Stop it. Bye 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 bye. Be -do, be -do, be -do. Make whatever you're doing stop. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a minion. So I kind of want a portal to Elfheim. Oh, yeah. Which I believe is pretty easy to get going. I think the only thing I really need is one Terra Steel ingot. I think that's the only complicated component. Two Terra Steel ingots? I need two Natura pylons, don't I? Yes. Two Natura pylons, so I need two Terra Steel ingots. So I think that's one full mana pool's worth of mana. But I'm doing pretty good on mana. Um, yeah, I, I should be able to pull that off. Um, that should be doable. So I just have to remember how to make Terra Steel. So I need the Terrestrial Agglomeration Plate and Lapis and Living Rock and those things should be easy to get. Terrestrial Animation Lapis, Block of Mana Steel. Oh, I have to do all the runes. Okay, that's correct. So I think so on what I'm going to do is uh, take an off-camera break here for a minute and make some runes. I've got air and water, so I just need fire, mana, earth, and... Yeah, fire, earth, and mana. And mana requires... Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, we'll be back. Let me get the stuff I need. And then we're going to go open the portal to Alfheim, and then we're going to automate the creation of living wood and living rock using only Batania. Does that sound cool? I like it. You guys have seen me do it with Steve's factory manager before, and this time we're going to do it with something else. We're going to do it with just Batania. At least that's the plan. So we're going to need some view. We're going to need diamonds. Why do we have so few diamonds, Soren? I haven't used any diamond. I disagree. You've used all the You've diamonds. You've been using all the diamonds. I haven't been using any diamonds. You're using all the diamonds. You used, you used all of them. I did not. You did not? Okay, then we have someone in our base periodically then. Maybe. Or maybe we just haven't gotten a lot yet. I, that's the truth. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll be back in a minute once I get everything I need. Yeah. Alright guys, we're back. So, getting ready to make Terra Steel. I've got the hard part of this done. Uh, let's go ahead and get two of those, two of those, and we've got two Mana Steel ingots, so that's cool. I'm thinking for now, maybe we'll put this like right over here. So I might want it actually in the ground. So let's do this. That sounds cool. And it's a checkerboard pattern, right? That I need to do. So I think it's like this, 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 and this. That's what I want. Yes. With this guy on top of that. And then we definitely want some sparks. So what's involved in making sparks again? 
There's new star sparks, by the way. Uh, blaze powder. That's cool. I have blaze powders. I should have no problem. Uh, Soren. Uh, dang. My wireless is out of range. Ah, okay. What are your coordinates right now? Uh, it needs like maybe 20 more blocks, I would say. I'm at negative right. 1572, 390. So let's see, where's some flowers? It doesn't matter what flowers I need to use because I've got like basically infinite. More folks, that's needed, but give me a minute. What now, who? More flukes, dust. Do you have auto crafting done, or what are you working on at the moment? Uh, right now I'm working on cobble works to get us like silicon, glass, sand, stuff like that. Cool. All the fluid stuff is auto crafted as well. But... So I think I should be able to do spark. <laughs> spark. Oh, are you guys friends or what? Cool. And will this spark make friends with these sparks? Uh, that might be a little bit asking too much. Now, can I just put a spark like randomly in the world? I didn't think so. You should be done. Let's try this. How about now? Uh, one sec. Yeah, that looks good. Awesome. Okay. That should be cool. So now I should be able to do something like maybe this. One, two, three, and stand back. Did I do that right? There's living rock under the plate. Correct. Mana pearl, mana steel, mana diamond. Hmm. I guess I can't by proxy do that. I think spark augments require... Yes, they do. Pixie dust. So that's not ideal. So let's try this. Accepting mana from items. Go. We'll let this thing fill up, and we'll see how that goes. Go mana, go. Is this thing done already? Nope. Just server lag. See if you right click it'll update to the proper thing and then once the server lag is better, you're cool. There we go. Alright, let's see if you want to go now. So one, two, user joined your channel. Three. Hello user. I just there we go. Now I'm getting what I need. Nice. I want to say it uses like a quarter or a half. Thought it was a half. Oh yeah, there we go. The last bits of mana going away. Nice. Oh yeah, check that out. Uh oh. All right, guys, I'm gonna do that again, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back, and portal to Elfheim coming to fruition. Elven Gateway Core, so that goes there. Let's absorb some mana into our mana pool thingy. Actually, yeah, let's switch you back to. Well, actually, I can put one here. Accepting mana from items. Cool. While that's going, I'm going to craft our pylons. 
I should have enough to make two of these and combine them to make that. Awesome. So that's going to go there, right? Or did I do that wrong? I did that wrong. Needs to be back one further. Where's my hammer? Technically, I think that can be there. Right, living wood, living wood, living wood, living wood. That should be good, and then the core goes there, right? Yeah. That should be good. And then it's one, two, three to that. One, two, three to that. Cool. That should be good. You're not really full, by the way. Visual glitch. Cool. You're halfway full, and you are now sparing mana to items. I'm going to fill this up and move that over there. And then we should be good to go. Just place the other mana pool here. Quick F7 check. See how we're looking. There and there. And we should have an Elven Gateway ready to go. And that's one step closer to automating this process. Because there's something I need from the Elven Gateway stuff that will get me what I want. So are you empty yet? Pretty much, yeah. Accepting mana from items, go. Let that fill up. And then we should be ready to activate this thing. Now, when I open that, I want to be prepared for the stuff I want to get. So we'll come back in a minute to do that. All right, guys, I think we're ready to open the portal. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, the portal's open. I'm just going to get a bunch of these things. I don't, oh, maybe you don't go through. Now. What you do is you drop items in there and it exchanges them for others. So see, like I put those two items in, it'll spell out a different one. So that's cool. All right. So there's a couple things I want to build. <laughs> it likes glass, apparently. It does. You'll get elf glass. After how long? <laughs> Uh, it might be two for one type of deal. How much did you put in? Three. Uh, let's see. Uh, you should get mana. Um, mana glass gets you elf glass. But regular glass, no. Just gets eaten. Awesome, okay. Well, hey, if you want to donate to the elves, that's on you. <laughs> Take some glass. <laughs> Alright, so this is step one. We're going to put green wool around here. Technically, you can use any block for this, but I'll get to why we're doing this in a minute. Cool. Uh, I need to make a flower or two, so we'll come back in just a moment. How are we for mana, by the way? Not too bad. Okay, so we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back and about to make the first flower to automate this process. So we want first two flower. orange. Dun, 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 dun. Ranicoparthus. Ranucarpus. Ran Ranincarpus. Ranincarpus. I'm going to say Ranincarpus <laughs> is the correct pronunciation of that of that flower. I'm sorry, could you could you repeat that? <laughs> I really can't. <laughs> So what you do is you place the type of block that you want to place things on underneath the dirt that you place the Ranon Carpus on. 
and then when you place any blocks on the ground nearby, it will pick up those blocks and place it on said block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Watch. Ta-da! How cool is that? That is cool. I might have thrown one extra, but that's okay. That was just me hitting Q too many times. But there you go. Poor Quetzi's even on the server. He's probably like, what do you mean I'm hitting you? So anyway, yeah. that places the blocks. Now we need to do something to destroy the blocks. That's coming up next. Okay, guys, the next thing we're going to need is a couple things. Uh, first thing I'm going to need to make, I'm going to need three mana lenses in total. The first one is going to be the warp mana lens. Cool. The second one is going to require this uh, rune of greed that I'm making right now, which is spring, water, and two mana diamonds. There we go. And that will get us a mana lens of boar. So check this out, okay? Here's what we're going to put together, and here's how this is going to work. I'm going to want this thing. This can go away. That's cool. Uh, so we've got our redstone mana spreader, okay? Let's put him right there. When we give this thing a redstone signal, which we're about to do, I promise. No cobblestone. Why? No, I have cobblestone. <laughs> when we give this thing a redstone signal, the mana burst gets stuck on the block. With a mana burst of boar, with a lens on it, it can break blocks. Sweet. That's pretty cool. And I hope this thing eventually dies out. Yes. Cool. So that's neat. So we're going to do that. Uh, now, with mana lens warp, we get something else that's cool. Uh, what we can do is... Can our AE system make pistons, Soren? Uh, not yet. Can it make anything? Yeah, floats, crystals. All right, I'm coming Any over. pattern you put it into the pulverizer, whatnot. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm just going to get a handful of pistons for this. So I'm going back to explaining how this works. But I'm fully automating this thing. I came up with this design in my single player world, and I'm like, yeah, this is cool. Awesome. So the force relay can bind pistons to other blocks, right? But the other cool thing it can do is when you use the warp mana spreader lens and we bind this to this, watch what happens. Ta-da! And it goes through there. Okay, so the plan is uh, to do this. Break this. We're going to take this guy off. Now you can combine mana lenses by putting a slime ball on a crafting table with it. Now the trick is you want to make sure that this composite mana lens is green. If you do this the wrong way, it'll be purple and this won't work. So it's very important to combine these in such a way that it's green. Recording? What's that? Are you still currently recording? Like yes. Presently? Yep. Oh, okay. So we'll put this here, we'll put this here, and then we'll put a block like there. Does that sound cool? Now watch what happens. Bind this to that and hit this. Nice. That's what I wanted to see. Cool. So I better get that torch back. <laughs> that thing went a little further than I wanted it to. Uh, shift right click with that to break that. Now let's take this thing. And what we're going to do is the following. You guys ready? Check this out. Um... I'm going to have, just for fun, this thing here, redstone mana spreader, we'll put it here for now, maybe I'll move it later, maybe it'll stay there forever, I haven't decided yet. That goes to there, and we're going to bind that to here. 
because it stays going the same direction. So it's moving north, so when it comes out of this block, it's going to continue to move north. So we're going to do this binds to this, and I think it's I can break this block. And then we're going to put one here, 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 here. So we're going to bind this to here, and then we're going to bind this to there. Okay? So, everybody with me so far? All right, I need to put my mana lens on. Nice. So that's partial. Now, the mana burst is too weak to break eight blocks, which is an unfortunate state of affairs. So we need to upgrade it. And for that, we need to get a little bit more complicated. And yeah, I could have dropped this on the flower thing, but we'll get to that. Oh, by the way, it spits them out at the mana spreaders location. So we're going to need to pick up from over here. Cool. So keep that in mind. Um, so now we need to upgrade this thing one step further. Um, what we want to make is a mana prism, which requires a spectral platform and prismarine shards. So quartz into an alchemy catalyst. That should be doable. Uh, spectral platform requires dreamwood, which we get one for one. Framed dreamwood, which is four to four. And then pixie dust. Framed, patterned, framed. Patterned is four of those. Okay. So let's get some living wood converted into dreamwood. I should probably be making more living wood because I think I'm low on the stuff. Yeah, I definitely need more of that. So I'll come back in a minute. I'm going to wait for this thing to finish um, its stone and then we'll come right back. All right, I'm back. And getting the prismarine. And that should be everything I need to craft. The prism. So this is where things get complicated, okay? Uh, provided I have glass on me, which I don't. So let's take this. We'll get one of these. Okay, let's try that again. This time without crashing. So this is where things get complicated. Mana prism. They're almost invisible. Uh, but what we can do is combine this and this. What I need is a potency lens. So the potency lens determines how much mana comes out of the spreader by a mana burst. So by placing a potency lens on here, more mana comes out in the burst. However, it's no longer in the effects of warp and bore. But by placing a mana prism here, it will modify the mana burst coming out to have the warp and bore effect. So, in theory, let's make sure that this is all good. Let's flip the lever. Look at that. Boom. That is cool. And you'll notice that everything spit out over here. So right now I've got zero living wood on me, and now I've got eight. How cool is that? So now all we got to do is automate a way to drop uh, eight pieces of wood right here. And it's a 60 second timer, I believe. So 60 seconds later, we apply a redstone signal to the mana spreader and boom. And we should probably account for how long it's taking to place those. So let's say like 70 seconds and you know, server lag, all that kind of good stuff. But that is like 90% of the way towards a fully automated version of this thing. Um, that's pretty exciting. I like that. Um, there's more we can do too, but we're going to do more in a bit. For now, I think that's pretty cool. I wouldn't mind getting a few sparks going. So what I would really like to see is, how am I for sparks? I think I put them away already. Yes. So let's get more flowers cooking up, please. Ta-da. And I'm going to get a few more sparks and take care of some cool stuff. So let's see, blaze powder. I thought I had in here still, yes. And golden nuggets. All right, I need to drop these guys.
Did I not drop them all, or did something weird happen? Oh, you know, no, maybe. Yes, that's what they want. Full inventory, not ideal situation to be in. So we'll get a spark on here, and a spark on here, and if we check, cool. So he can talk to him, he can talk to all those. Nice. I might want like a central mana pool somewhere around here, but we'll figure that out in a bit. For now, we're in pretty good shape. Sorry, what I had said earlier before. Okay guys, we are back, and I think my plan is that I'm going to have sparks down under the ground here. Uh, this will probably eventually be 3x3 three three of mana pools, but I think that he can connect to all sparks. That's cool. He is the all spark. He probably can't hit this one though, but that's okay. We'll deal with him later. Yes, he can't hit that one, but we'll manage him manually in some way. We'll get mana over there in a different way. But he can hit all these. So, But this one can hit just that one and that one. This one can hit just that one and that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these two recessive and that one dominant. And that should be cool. So let's see. Spark. I think it's recessive that I want, right? Yeah, recessive. Rune of Earth. And dominant is rune of fire. Good, I happen to have a rune of earth. So we're gonna find out right now. You, you, and the pixie dust. So if I put recessive on him, cool. So he's gonna drain all his mana into those two pools. Now I want to get recessive on that one too. So let's get another rune of earth, which I believe requires nine and a mushroom. I'm starting to memorize these recipes. I'm thinking that's a good thing. There we go. Runes of earth. So that'll come up, and I want a rune of fire. Did I have one of those handy still, or did I use the last one I had? I think I used the last one I had. But those will be dominance, and that's going to make... So this guy can hit that one, so that's cool. Where else is he going? Oh, to there. That's fine. So this will just be a normal spark. These two will be dominant, and that should be cool. So I'm going to want... Nether brick, nether wart, and gunpowder, I presume, is the remembering of fire. So, nether brick, nether wart, and gunpowder. We're going to need more of that soon. Oh, I've got the Pax box again. Oh. Uh -huh. Not anymore. Oh, okay. You keep saying that, I keep thinking it has to be a sickness. Yeah, no. <laughs> and then I remember, wait a time. Me and Bonnie, we're, we're going to have some problems pretty soon. How do you feel about that, Soren? Go ahead. <laughs> I will help you. Yeah, no, like, you, you are going to help me. That's, that's what's going to happen. It's like, no one should Beautiful. ever do that to people who stream or you record. If there are particle effects, it can get in the way. Yeah, they do. That's what happens. Nice. It's filling up. So that's what I wanted to see. It's always a possibility that you could just turn off particles unless you're using them or something. No. I, no. <laughs> when I turn them off other than being ablaze. Every time yeah. I morph out of ablaze, I turn them back on. You so remember? I, I always forget to turn them back on. Yeah. I usually just keep them off. So is this thing done yet? So we're going to want two dominance at the very least. That should be doable. I think I might ask iTunes to see if he could just make that a config option for particles from Blaze. No, I think that's the balance. It's balanced. Like that. Oh, okay. No, I'm teasing. Well, that 
would make sense to an extent. I did just make a dominant one, right? You don't know? I believe so. <laughs> yes, dominant spark. That should have him pulling from this pool. Right? Did I do that right? So that should be pulling. Oh yeah, it's going. Never mind, it's working. <laughs> I think the particle effects just aren't showing, but it's working. There we go, that's in now too. All right, so that's filling up too. So this one's filling and this one's full. All right, I think there was just a little visual glitch or server lag or something, but it's working now. And this one's getting drained. Cool. So we're just not seeing it. Maybe if I... Okay, that's good enough for me. So that's getting drained, that's full, and that's full. Nice. So that keeps us going. Pretty much everything, the only thing that's not complete is this one getting refilled. And, oh yeah, look at this. Nice. Ah, that's so cool. Very cool. More flowers for me. And how'd this thing do? Beautiful. All right, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is wrap up the episode, I think, and then we'll come back next time and see about fully automating this stuff. So probably just some blue power timers and a couple other things like that. I don't know exactly how the logic is going to work, but there's also going to be some automation built around automatically dropping the eight items uh, that we're going to want here. So we'll see about that too. All right, for now, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed checking this out. Uh, I am having fun doing my best to automate using only Batania. And I'm not going to count the redstone timers because you could do the vanilla redstone, but no thanks. All right, guys, take it easy.